Hi there, welcome to My Green Pets. I'm William Green. Let's have a look at what is happening in the grow tent. Lots and lots of growth. Let's go in order from left to right. Let's start up here. Bobophyllum echinolabium. This is Hal. Hal's newest leaf is split open. Looks cool. Next to it, Calia Rex, Kia. Kia. New growth popping out there, looking good. Treated for a fusarium last year. I need to do another test on it, but I don't feel like cutting any parts of it off right now. So that's where we are. Vanda falcata. It was looking a little dry, a little yellowish. I'm trying to water it, water it more, but it is producing a new growth on this side, and maybe on this side too. So it's not doing too badly. Little pinguicula. I ordered some um, special pinguicula mix from Califor California Carnivores, and that should be coming in next week. I'm going to repot it into the mix that they recommend. We've got Mormodia Jumbo World with a new growth down here. Really starting to look nice. Lots of roots coming out. And we've got three more growths. There's two on either side of this bulb and then there's another one down here that's just started to pop out. Pop out. So four so far, it would be great if this bulb would push out one more as well. That would be great. No water for this guy for at least a couple more months. We've got some seedlings over here, just trying to keep them watered and let them dry out thoroughly before watering them again. Bubblephyllum medusae, newest growth popping out here, really wants to climb out of this basket. Uh, got two new growths down here as well. So that's good. I'd like to see some more on you, actually, please. I've, I'm curious how well... Um, one of these would grow on like a pole. I've seen these poles that people grow philodendron on. Um, I don't know, I don't really have, I'm not sure, but I, I think it would be cool to grow grow bulbophyllums on a pole since they want to climb anyway, why not let them? Uh, we've got Jesse Lee over here with a nice new leaf, getting ready to open up. Uh, Gas Kelliana has got two growths on it actually, I don't know if you can see the second one down there and then this is Catlia Triani Cashins with I think four or five new growths on it this thing is just a beast this is a clone and I'm starting to understand how that clones do grow faster than plants from seed behind it we've got Catlia Rex Unu and Nina both stuck together in the same pot I see five growths this week in different places on this guy so that's always good to see and maybe if they all they, I don't they, they could all be all five be blooming growths that'd be amazing that'd be wonderful uh, my bulbophyllum crocium it's kind of hard to see it in this plastic pot down here but it was I was having a problem with it dropping leaves so I put it in a taller plastic pot and Maybe just it just needed higher humidity, more moisture around it. Hopefully it's not going to drop into more leaves. Calyrex NT. Two big seed pods. They were pollinated last May. So I'm, I'm thinking April, April or even May before these seed pods are ready. But those, that seed's going to be shipped off to the lab and get some hopefully very interesting uh, results out of those. Inti's got a new growth that doesn't look as big as previous year's growths, but we'll see. Got more seedlings here. Got a Catlia labiata with some very purple leaves. And hopefully might, I don't know, doesn't, I don't think it's quite bloom size. I think it needs a couple of adult adult sized leaves to be bloom sized, but man it's getting close. Calia AC Burridge also two nice new growths. Still probably not big enough to bloom, but again, getting very close.
Kellyrex Wida. Three new growths on this plant. One, one little one back here, and then another one here. I expect these two, if they bloom, they probably bloom at the same time, which would be fantastic. Bulbophyllum, this uh, Bulbophyllum lepidum, the little leaves have popped open. This one's still growing. Dendrochylum tenellum, still looking nice, but I think I am starting to see some fading happen on the oldest flowers, kind of shriveling up a little bit. So it's lasted a month. Uh, let's see, we've got Cygnocus. Coopery down here with a nice big fat growth pushing out roots. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Really hoping to get a big spike on this guy, like 15, 20 flowers would be amazing. Um, Cloisia, Rebecca Northern, 2021 edition, new growth. Uh, this is SVO Hybrid 10089. It's a signal case. I think it's uh, Richard Branded by Milana's Swan or something like that. It's got a new growth down there and it's also got some, something happening in the back there. Uh, this is signal case Varsovicia. You can see the new growth popping out there. I recommend not repotting the guy, these guys until the new growth shows because what ends up happening is if you repot it before you see the new growth, you, you repot it and then the new growth will pop out in the place that you do not want it, which is like right up next to the pot. You want it to be kind of like pointing out so that it's got space out here to grow. So I repotted all of these in the fall and then as the new growths have come out, I had to kind of turn them around in the pots so that the new growth would be facing outward instead of right up against the edge. Uh, Kelly Rex Mayu, awarded clone, two new growths, watching very carefully for rot. This plant rotted last year, really hoping it doesn't do that again. The bulbs are really nice and fat though, so, uh, come on Mayu. Another Rebecca Northern, this is Grapefruit Pink. And I used pollen from this plant to pollinate Mormodia Jumbo World in the fall, in the winter, earlier this winter, and got a seed pod. That'll be interesting to see. Larger seedlings, we've got Rex, Masii, Pulcherima, Purpurata, Dawiana, Blasfeldiana, Dawiana Rosita, Hardiana, and then some more Rexes. These are Genmanii Alba. And that's about it. I'm excited. I am going to be at the Pacific Orchid Expo next weekend. So that is going to be interesting. I've never been to a big orchid event like this. So it's, it's, I have no idea what to expect. I have my, uh, I'm kind of, I'm looking for maybe one or two plants, but I'm not really going to buy plants. I'm just going to, to check it out. So maybe I'll see you there. Hope your plants are growing well. The days are clearly getting longer. Look at all that sunlight coming in. I hope everything's going well. And I will see you next time right here on My Green Pets. I'm William Green. Take care. Bye.